Hey, 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 what's it, babies? Ew. I know that you guys are doing good, doing great, doing well. This Monday afternoon, we are getting ready to call upon Sir William, uh, Prince William, that is. Soon to be King of England. Yes, we are going to speak directly to William. Now, um, the last time I even touched on William, it was just from the perspective of what was going on with Kate. But today I decided that I'm just going to go ahead and read um, what happened to Kate from William's perspective. Um, and just kind of read William's energy all together. Um, I had a subscriber who requested a reading for someone who went missing or something like that in their town. Um, can you just, um, if you see this, can you just remind me of who that was? I did take a screenshot of your comment so that I could remember to do it, but then I went and deleted the screenshot when I needed space um, on my phone and I do want to honor that. <clears throat> I do get a lot of requests. Ugh. Sorry, y'all. I just been too busy to groom today. I do get a lot of requests. Um, and while I try to honor some of them, I can't honor all of them. However, when I get requests, if you guys ever want me to do a missing person, a cold case or something like that, I will always honor and prioritize those. I always do those. Um, so please, if you see this, um, the one who suggested someone, I think from their town who went missing or was killed a long time ago, um, please re-put that in, in the comments so that I can do that reading. Anyways, let's talk to Prince William. For anyone who ever wants ever wants to contact me, my email um, beyond the veil Adina is always in the description of my readings. Um, for those who ask, always check the description because my method of contact, which is my email beyond the veil Adina at gmail.com, it's always in the comment in the description of my videos. Um, or you can slide in my DMs on Instagram, um, which is Beyond the Veil Adina on Instagram. And you guys can see, um, I say all the time that I do my readings here and then I show the work of my hands, my juju, my, my, um, my other stuff on my Instagram page, the other services I can provide. Um, but it always starts with a consultation. Um, anyways, I want to start with the Oracle card with you. That's why I brought them. Prince William. Prince William. Prince William, why do I hear Charles when I call you? Are you and your father of the same spirit? Prince William, most, mother, most high mother and father God, please allow me to conjure up and speak to the soul and the spirit of Prince William. I would like to speak to him about his wife, Kate Middleton, Duchess Kate. Please compel him to speak to me and keep nothing hidden from me. And may no representative come to speak on his behalf. Let them come with him, but not for him. Bring him to me. Prince William. He calls me a witch doctor. He calls me an old African witch doctor. 
you old and, and not in a compliment you old african witch doctor it's an insult how dare you compel me is what he says he's a feisty one prince williams william <clears throat> talk to me about your wife kate Talk to me about your wife, Kate, Prince William. He says she's not my wife. Talk to me about Kate Middleton, Prince William. Give me three oracle cards about how you feel about Kate Middleton, Prince William. This is all for entertainment purposes. Story time with Adina. A time for healing. What do you need to release? Verse. A new romantic cycle begins. Before Prince William can introduce his new woman fully, the Kate thing has to be wrapped up, is what I hear. The Kate thing has to be wrapped up. Because he's already moved on. He's already over it. He's letting his courts and the media and all of them handle it. But he's over it. He has nothing else to say. Him personally, he's over it. And he's going to let his team, his people, handle it. But as soon as this Kate thing is wrapped up, he can move on with his new romantic cycle. As soon as, what do you need to release? And because it's, she, they have to wait a time for healing they have to wait before he can completely move on because because they've told the world that she has cancer um but i have to say that she is not here um imagine getting a look-alike to record a video and then using some type of ai software technology of some sort i'm no tech geek so i don't know what it is specifically to tweak her face, even though she's supposed to be a lookalike, that just makes it easier to, for the technology to pick, pick up the rest, to do the rest. So that even if she is in front of a video, not too much movement, not too much movement side to side. You can't walk off and come back. You have to stand there, deliver your message. The lookalike has to do that, and then the technology will tweak it to make it look like Kate. And so that is why a new romantic cycle begins is in reverse. It can't begin yet because Kate is supposed to be dying slowly. That's the story, that she's dying slowly of cancer. Remember when I did my Kate Middleton reading, I, I, I said there's no way this lady is alive, and if she is, she is on the brink of death. And then I said that I suspected that they would come out with some type of story to explain her being gone to glory. Um, and the perfect the perfect theory was that, you know, we're going to give her something so that they expect her to be gone. But we'll also give them something that will cause them to not hound us too much because then we can do reverse psychology this lady is suffering how dare you continue to question us and bother us while we ask for privacy while she passes away how dare you ask us questions about where she is she's sick trying to heal trying to recover and then one day she's gone that's the perfect thing that's the perfect alibi and that's what they gave us and William already has a woman in waiting. He's He's been over Kate. He's been over Kate. They just have to wait for this all to blow over. Don't expect her to recover and live a long life and get rid of her cancer. Expect, uh, we're sorry to announce that Kate Middleton has succumbed to her illnesses, her battle with cancer. That could even happen before the king goes away, um, allegedly. I don't know how soon, how far, but... I can see that happening before anything else. Prince William, talk to me about 
about Kate Middleton. You do not want me to call her your wife. And I know you don't want to be here. So the least I can do is call her not your wife. Prince William, talk to me. You talk to me directly about Kate Williams. I mean, Kate Middleton. Prince William, talk to me about Kate Middleton and what has become of her and what will become of her. She's not going to recover. I see that he is nowhere around her, wherever she... It's almost as if this card is saying there's nothing to say about her. I never cared for her. Even when he was a knight, younger when they first met. Um, but I think she is holding up. Kate supposedly still being alive is holding up him proceeding in whatever future plans he has. Um, if, if she goes before his father, then we will see him take the throne even if his father is still alive. Because his father is going to glory. His health is declining. But he can't do this until Kate is gone. Because he's a traditionalist and he needs a woman on his arms. He has one as soon as Kate is gone. He'll, he, he can proceed. Challenging. Kate is still here. For one, she's still supposed to be alive. I'll say that. She's still supposed to be alive. But if you watch my um, Kate video that I did, I explained this card because this card came up and it, it made me think of where she was. Where her body is. Just, it's almost like a, a, a sick humor, how close she is to us, but how far away she is from us. Recent past Prince William dismissed himself from all of this Kate business. He, After that statement was put out by Kate, he said, this is done. Give the people this because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of talking about her. And I want all of this Kate mess to be put to bed. So as far as he he was concerned, when she did that video, he was done with it. He doesn't care what the world has to say about it. In the in the near future, we will see Prince William. I don't know if he will make a public statement um, giving an update about the health of Kate or if he will just be seen a sighting of him of some sort. But I, I, okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll hold off on what I want to say. Crowning Prince William. A new beginning. I don't know if this means that the other woman is with child or if he only needed Kate for the children. And then once he had his two children from her or however many children they have, she was no longer of use. I don't know if she fell pregnant and I, I don't know. I'll clarify that. Full in reverse, I'm going to say that her duties were fulfilled, fulfilled once she gave William the children that he wanted. Current, pres current position as far as William's is, William is concerned Kate is suffering um, in health. External, he's moved on. He's moved on completely. Completely. Hopes and fears. Something about the children finding out. The children are giving him a hard time. Father, where is our mother? Is she dead? Is she dead? We know she's dead. We know she's dead. You killed our mother, father, father. You killed our mother. You killed our mother. Remember, I did this in the last reading when, where they were trying to appease the children 
at the time. You know, they were just asking, where's our mother? We don't want the nanny. Da, da, da. Now, no, 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 no. The kids aren't having it and they know better. They know that something serious is going on with the mother. And I don't know if all or just one or some of them are really giving them a hard time, but I feel like it's one of the boy. I feel like it's the older boy. Could be the older and the younger, maybe. I don't know, one of the boys. I don't know how many children they have at all, but I know it's more than one. And one of them is a boy. That's the one that's giving him a hard time. Final outcome, page of pentacles. Not much will change um, of this Kate situation anytime soon. As far as the tarot will allow me to see. This woman is already past decomposition. She is already gone, allegedly. The only problem is, the this is the other woman here. The woman that he really has to, everybody know he has, apparently people do know that he has some mistress or there's been rumor. So people know this is not a hidden secret that much that he has another woman while he has a queen his wife she is the problem because she is no longer here she is buried sleep and has been but the will of fortune in reverse he has to pretend in order for her to come out fully like his father like his son i think that's why i heard charles first same thing happened with Camilla and his father, Charles, with Diana. Once she was out of the way, Camilla, even though everybody knew Charles was seeing Camilla, she could fully, he could fully publicly see Camilla once his wife is gone. It's history repeating itself, but he just has to wait. The Will of Fortune in reverse, she can't come out. She's hiding behind the Will of Fortune in reverse because he has to pretend that his wife is still here. And, and enough health to be here. I'm going to start with the outcome, the page of pentacles in reverse. Four of pentacles. Um, this is a secret that will all, this will go over with the public. We will get an announcement about Kate's succumbing to her illness. Um, but we won't get the truth of what happened to her. And that's because they gave us the perfect story so that they can keep themselves private until they're ready to say that she's gone, until enough time has passed for it to make sense. But the outcome will always be what they withheld is not what they really gave us because the page of pentacles is the outcome and it's in reverse. So when it goes down in history, just know that the story that they gave us about Kate, the truth is what they withheld from us. And the truth is her needing privacy while she battles an illness so that they can have an excuse for what really happened to her. Um, this is also another card, but all the cards that I saw when I read Kate Middleton are here. This was another card that told me about that place where you have to, you know, they, they, the, the knights, the knights took her body. It's across some kind of murky, dark, marshy water, a place where there's also other bodies, but not a full cemetery. These are bodies of people that they've had to get rid of secretly that we may not know are even um, unalived or that we may have thought were unalived in a different way. But they're kept here for a reason, almost a ritualistic reason. It's almost to keep their souls bound under the ownership of the family as a punishment almost. And this is a place, 
maybe a place where tourists go. They uh, uh, Last time I did the reading, I said that there was some kind of thing about where there's a tourist location that used to be open to the public, but now there were guards there. Something about that place ain't right. And it'll never be right. And it's a reason why the guards were there and probably are still there. And it has to do with what really happened to Kate, what the world will never know. That that will be that will be the outcome as far as William is concerned. Present position, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Allegedly. He's never loved Kate. He's allegedly, I don't know if he's always had this woman, but he's had her for a long time. And it's the woman he really loves. It's his Camilla. It's his version of Camilla. Um, and he's just waiting patiently until he can fulfill whatever other royal obligations he has. And she will be by his side, allegedly. Hmm. He seemed to have gotten tired of juggling Kate. He was just sick of Kate. He was just sick of Kate. It almost as if she didn't do anything that much wrong other than the fact that she was eventually going to try to leave. And she was already, you know, he that could have went peacefully. He could have been a divorcee, but that's not William. That's not William. He's not going to be a divorcee. He'll be a widow before he's a divorcee and let Kate get away with the children, whatever money, whatever power, whatever control. That's what it is, control. He's a psychopath. Um, so at, at this point, he's just waiting. Let me look into this magician in reverse. They have not been together for a long time. He ne There was never any real love between the this couple. I see that she wanted a divorce and I just don't see him allowing her to be a divorcee. I don't see him wanting to be someone who was about to be queen being a divorcee. It's something and he wasn't going to pay her. He would rather her be dead before he paid her and he would have had to because he was cheating on her and he couldn't let her go away and spill that he couldn't let her hook up with megan and her american friends and figure out a way to overpower him to put back him into a corner a financial corner uh, a ego corner any of that she she would be dead first that's that's what i can really sum that up to challenging eight of cups reverse There's also a problem amongst all of them, the siblings, because they know by now that what happened to Kate. And the problem is, what are you gonna do for us to keep this a secret and to play along with the royal family about this Kate situation? So I see a lot of money being spent to William and Meghan to keep their mouths shut for as long as we have to pretend that Kate is still alive, which is why the Eight of Cups in reverse is in the challenging position. And I'm reading William. Let me look into this Three of Cups just to confirm that it's uh, Harry, Harry and Meghan. Yeah, because they know that she's not there and they know that it's all hell that broke loose behind the scenes in the royal family. And in order for them not to talk about it to the media, because we will, so pay us. I see Harry and Meghan shaking them down very subtly. They didn't even really have to state their demand when they came around and was able to put two and two together. What do you need? What do you want to play along? What do you need? They didn't have to ask. Recent past, five of wands, William, why, why have you been over this? Because look what he did. This was violent, what really happened to Kate, allegedly. Allegedly. He could face charges, allegedly, if the public knew what really happened to Kate. 
so there had to they had to give us a story that we could accept not a story that would not make sense to us that would keep us asking questions but they had to give us a story that we can accept and we did we did near future eight of swords reverse william will say something uh, maybe give an update on kate's health or someone representing him will do so but it won't be true whatever is being said will not be true even though they're talking with their knight with their sword upright it'll be a lie but it'll just be something to you know keep the story going along so it'll most likely be an update about kate's health But the long-term plan is for her health to take a turn in the worst, not to improve. It's a waiting game before an official announcement is made that we've all been waiting for. And that is due to her declining health. So it's just a matter of time. External. The other five in reverse. Another card of him being over it. He will be so glad when all this is over. The son, he's already happy that she's out of the way now. But now he just has to wait till he can really, exp you know, really look forward to moving on and healing. Me and my family. He's just wait. Look, he's over it. And he's waiting for the point where he doesn't have to pretend to be sad about his wife. Because upright, he's already moved on with this other woman, that queen of wands. And has been for a long time. Hopes and fears, the children. Where is my mother? I know you killed my mother. That's the young boy, the young inquisitive boy. Look at him with his page upright. He's asking the questions he wants to know. And there are actually blackbirds on this card. I think 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. Finality, death. He, he's, he knows his mother's dead and that's what he's asking. He's not accepting the story that's been given. He doesn't like it at all. Whatever they're telling him, he doesn't like it. Look, he knows his father killed his mother. He knows his father did it. Both of these kings, he knows, he knows, he knows that the reverse, even though he can't prove it, he knows his father, Ace of Wands, did it. And that's in Prince William's hopes and fears position because he's reminiscing about when it happened to his mother and how Harry was not with it. Charles, I know you killed my mother. William, he was fine. Um, I already did the final outcome, so that is my William reading, you guys. Just be ready for, you know, whatever updates on her health that they give you and just know that they're lies. Actually, let me look into the lie itself. Um, and the reason that they're lying is because allegedly there's no way. It's not possible for her health to improve. This would be her health improving. The six of, the six of wands upright. Victory, health, vitality, success. There's no way. The tower moment. Because of this situation that happened between William and Kate when he struck her. In a fit of rage. That's why it's a lie, allegedly. When you look into the Six of Wands, that's my there's no way she could be. Because he did something, struck her. He struck her with something in the dome in a fit of rage. 
she was talking about leaving him, all the stuff. And you better hope I, you know, that was her problem. She should have just continued to do it quietly, but they were in the heat of the moment. They were arguing and she showed too much of her hand, turned her back to walk away, allegedly, and he hit her, allegedly. This and this to the dome, the crown, knocked a crown off with this. Almost just stood there with that wand in his hand, with this wand afterwards, trying to calm down. This is why there it's a lie. And I'm, I'm still looking into the lie in the near future when they give an update about her health and it's a lie. That's why it can't improve. I'm gonna look into this hit in the head because I do believe that she was struck in her head. Um, she confronted him about his lover and said she was going to divorce him and she and take his money, child support, take the children, take the money. And he couldn't let that happen. Not while he was about to be king. Couldn't let that happen. Had to stop her. Chariot movement stopping that movement not while i'm about to be king i had to do something and they're in on this um buying time because again here it is again that's where she is all right guys that is my prince william reading allegedly this is story time with dina thank you i hope you enjoyed it come join me again for another story time love you bye